Good morning, Buffalo. Brian Hayden here with Visit Buffalo Niagara and another episode of Buffalo Live. Well, I'm dressed up as an old-time newspaper reporter today because this is an old-time kind of place, the Swan Street Diner in Larkinville. It's a new hot spot in town, and as old-time newspaper reporters used to say about hot spots, holy smokes, look at that, what a scoop, this place is the bee's knees. So we'll take a look inside here. We're in Buffalo's revitalized Larkinville neighborhood. It's uh, a warehouse district that's been brought back to life with food trucks and restaurants and breweries and distilleries, and now a 1930s diner that's been brought in from central New York. So we're going to head inside here and talk to Leslie Zemsky. Oh, good morning, Leslie. How are you? Thanks for having us here today. Yes, yes. So, Leslie, oh, of course. Tell us uh, a little bit more about the Swan Street Diner. I mean, how does one even find a diner and decide to bring it to a whole different area? Well, we weren't actively looking for a diner, but we always have our ears and eyes open for interesting opportunities here in Larkin. Most of our projects have, in fact, all of them to this day, have been renovating existing buildings or spaces. So. My husband, Howard, was in Newark, New York, probably back in, I think it was 2010 or 11, looking for an Airstream camper, went to get a cup of coffee at what was the Newark Diner before it became the Swan Street Diner here, and there was a for sale sign. And then it takes a lot of years, so now here we are in 2017. He had purchased it, and we've spent the last few years renovating it. It was came on a flatbed truck here to Buffalo, and starting... On Tuesday, a new chapter is the Swan Street Diner. Very cool, very cool. Uh, walk us through this menu here. Uh, what are some must-have items that a visitor should try when they come here? Well, if you're in the mood for breakfast, and really what we're excited about is this is open seven days a week and from 7 a.m. to 3, so we have a great lunch selection, burgers. Um, Amanda Mika, who is our chef and general manager, she also runs Amy's Food Truck, which is one of the most popular food trucks. She has a tradition with from diner food, but also with some vegetarian items. So something we're proud of is there are also vegan and vegetarian um, items on the menu. And I think, and shakes, we're doing uh, signature shakes with house-made syrups. And we even have a mini donut maker. So there's something for everybody. Oh, wow. Leslie, how does this diner fit into the rebirth of Buffalo that's happening? Well, it's just one more component. For us in Larkinville, uh, food trucks have been a real driver for getting people down to the neighborhood and putting the word Larkinville, which is really a name that just happened as a nickname affectionately for the neighborhood, uh, to get people aware of where it is and coming down here for activities. And what's happening now, people have been working here for quite a few years in these warehouses that have been repurposed, and now more residential is coming. So for us, adding a diner adds to that fabric of what makes a nice neighborhood, things to do after work, before work. Excellent, excellent. And, and the thing I love about these menus, too, Buffalo, is on the back, it gives you a glossary of old-timey food phrases if you wanted to really talk as if you were ordering something in the 1930s. So, I mean, plausibly here, I see that uh, basted eggs are blindfolded, American cheese is wax, and a milkshake is white cow. So, Leslie, would it be accurate if I wanted to say, give me a basted eggs with some wax and top it off with a white cow? Absolutely. And, <laughs> and I'd say I'll have a cup of joe to go with all that. <laughs> And let me tell you, Buffalo, this is one fine cup of joe, too. So, uh, Leslie, thanks so much for joining us here. Just a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, we'll make sure, Buffalo, uh, put this on your uh, breakfast and lunch to-do list. The Swan Street Diner, opening Tuesday to the public. So for Visit Buffalo Niagara and Buffalo Live, I'm Brian Hayden. We'll see you next time.